The Great American 50% Off Sale. Hey everybody, Scott Walters, buckle up, strap in. I got a hard-hitting pull, no punches, no sugar coating it, no rainbows, no sunshine. I'm just going to give it to you and give it to you straight. We got a good one to unpackage today. Buckle up, strap in, hold on to your hats and your glasses as I blow the lid off the U.S. economy and the U.S. housing market if you're new. Please subscribe. Subscribe right away. Never been a more important time in history to get centered and surrounded with like-minded people where iron will sharpen iron. We're going to sharpen some iron today. Welcome to the show, everybody. Thank you for the continued support. Love each and every one of you. So the realities are this, friends. We really need to flip the switch in the old brain because right now what happened during the stimulus era was FOMO, the fear of missing out, people walking off, off a cliff, buying at the height of not only a a real estate bubble, a super bubble, the biggest bubble ever recorded in world history. Dangerous. I don't know. Not many rich people got bu uh, rich buying in the height of a super bubble. In fact, we see the white collar wage earner now being evaporated as job losses are sweeping America. Credit card usage at an all time high. U.S. savings rate. And an all-time low. I've warned about this, friends. I've warned. Congratulations if you've been with the channel for, for a while. I've warned about this. People will eventually be running on fumes, hanging on to their fingernails, no longer owning their homes that they bought in the height of that super bubble. That home's going to own them. And that's what we're seeing right now. When you start seeing U.S. savings rate at an all-time low, U.S. debt at an all-time high, that means people are running on fumes trying to hold on to the house as a trained salesman trained in the psychology of people, the psychology of sales. I know once I sell you a house, guess what Guess what happens? It becomes all about the house. You're tied to the house. You don't own your house. It owns you. Down at the big box store every week and buying a new doorknob, a can of paint, a flower for the flower bed, whatever. See, for me, you don't want to look at your house like that. Your, your house can't own you. You need to sacrifice now to ride off into the sunset later. Be willing to live in a cracker box temporarily. I've talked to so many rich people, much more successful than, than me. They rent their house for life. They they own all these properties, but they rent where they live. I'm like, well, why do you rent where you live? You own all these properties. Or I guess it's not important to own where you live. It's just important to own. And that segues us into today's topic of 50% off homes. Does it pencil out? That's the things I'm doing my best to entertain you guys to the best of my ability. Educate and inform. Just let you know. These are the waters we're swimming in now. We went through a big bust, uh, boom cycle. We're probably going to hit a bust cycle. We see the downward trend now taking place. It's Real estate's local, so all areas behave differently. So today, you know, this is what happened in 08 too, by the way. So many parallels, but this one's a little bit worse because bigger bubble, bigger blowback. Whew. certain areas are being identified as crash hot spots, aren't they? Of course they are. So for us, for a lot of us, like there's areas, I don't know, Silicon Valley, San Francisco, the Bay Area, you know, houses, the median home price, way over a million dollars. Well, who wants to go test the waters in the million dollar district? No. Stack up a handful of affordable rentals. You want houses that their median home prices are with, within the national average. The Bay Area is way above the national average. The nav national average home price, if you take the whole United States, is what, three, 400,000 range? And it's declining. So for me, I like to heat map and temperature check areas, hopefully in my backyard, or at least driving distance. I like to be able to drive to my investment properties. I don't want to buy it over Zoom. I'll actually want to go visit the property, put boots on the ground. Whew. So for me, I know for a lot of us, see people recess in a recession, the psychology of people. Herd mentality is going to rear its ugly head once again. People are going to be afraid to buy. And I don't want anybody ever to go all in on real estate. I want you to allocate your risk tolerance. Identify your risk tolerance, but never go all in. Make sure you have cash reserves to, to pay some bills for at least, you know, three months, I think, is what's suggested. Six is great. A year is probably the best. But you need to identify areas where maybe you can go buy for cheap. Cheap homes. And so today to drive our point home so we can understand the right lens and have a little fun to look at properties, let's jump over to a part of America where it's pretty cheap to buy at the moment and it might be coming to your area next. So stay tuned. Let's go ahead and roll this property. Then we'll meet back here to wrap it up. Let's get started.
All right, friends, buckle up, strap in, roll up your windows, lock your doors, maybe even put on that face mask if you still have one. We're in Mississippi, and it looks like we got a little economic blowback going on in the Great Delta. Let's jump over to our property and take a look at what's going on there. Now let's bring up our crash map, courtesy of our good friends, the failed iBuyers, Zillow. Now let's take a sneak peek at today's featured property. A single family home sitting empty, ready for somebody to come by. Well, let's take a look and see what's going on. All right, buckle up and strap in. Let's read our desperate seller description. And the first thing we see, they're calling it a price improvement. There's no price improvement here. This is price reduction, stuck on market, going through the kiss of death. Today's property has a mid-range value of approximately $68,000. Now let's look at its price history. Oh, buckle up and strap in. Our property's fast approaching approximately $60,000. They started at almost $120,000. This property's going through a 50% price reduction. Now let's go ahead and see how our property pencils out. If you were to give them today's asking price with a standard amount down at today's interest rate, your approximate cost to carry would be $460. Now let's see what its rent range is. Well, 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 our property says it would rent for almost $1,600 a month. Your cost to carry would be approximately four dollars to $500 a month. A complete cash cow. Let's get back to the studio so we can wrap this one up. All right, friends, welcome back. So there you go. That house pencils out. I got they put, why is it still in the market? That's a no-brainer. Well, I don't know. Maybe the Mississippi Delta is in a place where most of us... I was just talking to somebody yesterday. I said, I can find you a cheap house right now. Yeah, but I don't want to live in the Mississippi. Well, I, said, no, I didn't say you want to live there. You're going to own property. You don't know. You don't understand. See, most people don't understand. They don't think like an investor. That's why only a small majority of the nation is wealthy. Most people are middle, lower class. You got to start thinking like a rich person, calculated risk. If I was to grab a partner and buy the house we looked at today, what's my cost to carry? 200 and something dollars a month. I could sit on that thing forever. I could save it as an emergency shelter. It's got an acre on it. If, it's, if it really hits the fan someday, like many people are predicting, I got a property in the Mississippi Delta. Move into that thing and grow my own food. I'll be self-sustaining. In the meantime, I'll be here in the Wild West, the episode of Twilight Zone, the Million Dollar District, Rodeo Drive of California, giving these messages to raise awareness, ring the bell, sound the alarm, let people know the biggest artificially created housing bubble in world history is probably not going to sustain itself. I'm already showing you properties now. That property started at almost 120000 It's approaching 60000 I'm not a Harvard-educated genius, but one thing I can tell you, I have enough math skills to understand that's a 50% off peak to trough and guess what my friends we're just getting started throw a dart at a map of america i could probably show you tons of other areas close to you that are approaching 50 percent off in final thoughts i come to you as a friend as a content creator somebody wants to see you not only win in real estate win in life understanding the biggest artificially created housing bubble ever produced in world history couldn't sustain itself. It's having its blowback. I showed you a property today, 50% off, and we're just getting started. The front end of a recession. We're just entering this thing. Your area, my area, plenty of areas are all going to join the party. You might be slightly in, uh, recession insulated, but you're not recession proof. And I'm going to be here to blow the lid off it every step of the way because it's not only what we need, it's in fact what we deserve. If you appreciate the content, I want to humbly ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Social media links in the description of this video if you'd like to contact me there, along with links to channels I've appeared on I think you might enjoy. If you need help buying or selling real estate here in America, I have the biggest network of top-rated agents in the nation ready to assist you. It'd be our honor and our privilege to do so. Email in the description for you as well. Also, if you're watching from your television set today and you enjoyed this video, I know you're going to love the next video on your screen. And there's an easy subscribe icon for your convenience. As always, thank you for your time. Please go make it count today. I'll see you on the next video.